Let's go meet with the Jedi Council then. You there, Padawan. Why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Do you mock the honored traditions of our order? I believe you're mistaken. I'm not a Padawan. I'm Jamar Torek. I came here with Bastila. Bastila? I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young. Though I've heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But as for you, you claim you are not a Padawan? I find this hard to believe. The Force is strong within you. I can feel its presence. If this is some type of jest, it is in very poor taste. The Jedi Order is not a subject for jokes. Yeah, I didn't come here to be scolded by you. No, I suppose you did not. I apologize. Please forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. I see I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant stay here on Dantooine. May the Force be with you. Alaya. So why are we introduced to her? Ah, so you are the one who rescued Bastila. It is appropriate you are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. I am Jar, a member of the Jedi Council. With me are Master Vruk, Master Vandar, and of course, the chronicler of our academy, Master Dorak. Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. Mm hmm. So, what do you want from me? Bastila tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. Strong in the Force. Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. We need indisputable proof of your strong affinity to the Force before we would even consider accepting you for training. Proof? Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within this man. And I've already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We both know there is no luck. There is only the Force. We all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. Now that this power has begun to manifest itself, can we safely ignore it? The Jedi training is long and difficult, even when working with a young and open mind. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? I'm willing to try my best. Traditionally, the Jedi do not accept adults for training, though there are rare exceptions in the history of our order. But you are a special case. I agree with Master Dorak. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. We need recruits to stand against Malak. With Revan dead... Are you certain Revan is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one, and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila, you and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations.
The dark side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The Order will surely banish us. Are the secrets of the Starforge so valuable? Can its power truly be worth the risk? This morning's getting stranger by the minute. First, Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. Uh, did, did she say anything else? No, she didn't. She didn't seem well, as I recall, and for that matter, neither do you. Are you all right? Yeah, I had a rough night. Let's go. You got it. Party members. Hmm. Probably take Kendris and Karth at this point. Uh, mission is sort of useless since I'm in the team and I have a lot of skills. Same with the droid. Balzar would be my preferred choice if he, I could up his damage resistance or armor class a little bit. Alternatively, I would need to have a horse power healer so I can keep him in high health. Something seems to be bothering Karth. Maybe you should speak to him and see if you can get him to open up about it. Okay, let's talk to him. Yes, what's on your mind? Do you know anything about this place? Dantooine's a boring place. It's all plains and herders and small settlements. Perfect for the Jedi to lose themselves in, I guess. Well, that's all I can think of at any rate. Okay. Let's ask questions then. I guess I did say you could ask me questions later, didn't I? Is this really necessary? No. Not if you have a problem with it. No, no. I don't have a problem with it, really. Go ahead and interrogate me. Excellent. Soon all your secrets will be mine. All my secrets are purely of the mundane variety, unfortunately. Nothing worth extracting, though. You're welcome to try. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. I wasn't in a position to know what was going on, really. Neither was I, to tell the truth. I was on board as an advisor for the most part. The battle began so fast it's anyone's guess as to what actually happened. We lost the ship and a lot of good people, and, and for what? On the hope that the Jedi powers would save us somehow? Not that Bastila had much of an opportunity to act. We didn't choose that battle anyway, it got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it. It's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? I'm a scout. I was recruited into the fleet for my skills, if you must know. Well, that makes sense. Still, it seems a bit strange that someone who is a last-minute addition to the crew roster is one of the survivors. What's so odd about me being added to the crew at the last minute? You were the only one. Not to mention that Bastila's party was the one who requested your transfer. Why would Bastila request my transfer? The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. I mean, hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing, I know. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises.
What do you mean by surprises? I mean, I have to expect the unexpected, just to be safe. Sure. Fine. Let's just get back to something important then. Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone, and I have my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? Sure. Yep. Let's, yes, let's do that. Good. Like I said before, I prefer action to talk anyway. Sure you do. Let's talk to Cancerous. Yeah, what do you want? Hmm. Do you know anything about this world? From what we saw from space, this world doesn't have a lot of people. I couldn't really have found much work here anyway, so I never had an interest. It looks like a farm world. The Republic has thousands of these places. Ones that get by farming crops and hunting herds of native beasts. But I might have underestimated this place. It seems to be more than I thought. You have anything else you want to ask? Hmm. I was wondering if you had interesting stories. You want to hear tales of my exploits, of the wars I've seen and fought, the enemies I've seen die by my hand? <laughs> sure, I'll humor you. My name's Candorus, of the Mandalorian clan Ordo. I've been fighting across the galaxy for 40 of your years. For my people, it is the honor and glory of battle that rules us. It's through combat that we prove our worth, gain renown, and make our fortunes. Is that why the Mandalorians attacked the Republic? The Sith came to us with an offer. To fight a worthy enemy in a battle that would be remembered forever. Win or lose, as long as the fight is worthy, then honor is gained. The glory at having triumph over impossible odds is what drives us. If there's nothing at stake, your possessions, your life, your world, then the battle's meaningless. We Mandalore take everything we are and throw it into battle. It's the true test of yourself. The battle against death. Against oblivion. Hey, then what are you doing now? The days of combat and glory and cheating death at every turn seem to be over now. I take what I can. Times have changed now. The Mandalore clans have been scattered across the Outer Rim. The Republic is in decline and the Sith Empire rises to take its place. The clans as they were are a threat, but the galaxy still fears us. <laughs> People think we war out of spite or bloodlust. They don't understand and fear that. We only wanted the challenge of the battle and glory from it, win or lose, and we lost. But now I have no real challenges. Crushing Davik's enemies and the pathetic gangs in the lower city of Taris could not be considered the most glorious of tasks. When I think of the battles I've fought, the thousands I've killed, the worlds I've burned, I weep for my past. We will never again speak of this. We've got work to do, so let's get to it. Okay, we need to go to the console. I don't want to get sidetracked too badly at this point. Bastila has told us of a most unusual development. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps they're more than we first suspected, if Revan and Malak found something there. Yes, they seem to be searching for something. Bastila has described this shared dream to the Council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. The Force is acting through you, as it acts through Bastila. I'm having visions now. You and Bastila share a powerful connection to the Force, and each other. 
This is not unheard of. Connections often form between master and student, but rarely does a bond develop so quickly. Whatever dangers may lie ahead, we cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us, together. What are you talking about? You and she are linked, as is your fate to hers. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. But do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. The way of the light is long and difficult, as you must learn. Are you ready for such hardship? I'll try my best. Understand that there is little choice in this matter, for you or us. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. The Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. We fear it is only a matter of time until they discover even this hidden refuge. Other Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced the dark side, giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their Dark Lord. Jedi turn into the dark side? The lure of the dark side is not easy to resist. Malak's power grows as more and more planets fall to his conquering armies. If Malak is not stopped, the Republic will fall, and the Jedi will be hunted to extinction. The galaxy will enter a time of darkness and tyranny, not seen for a thousand generations. The Council has decreed that you and Bastila must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of. Once the Council deems you ready. Perhaps there you will find some clue, some explanation of how Revan and Malak were corrupted. And perhaps there you shall find a way to stop them. Hey. Hmm. Uh, I don't see any good choices here. I'm not going to lie to them. I, I don't know if I want to do this, it sounds dangerous. Uh, I don't think that's something I would say. I, I might not want to do this, but not because it's dangerous. And I'm ready now, I accept the mission. Oh. Uh, but it, I'm ready now. I hope I'll be able to skip more pointless conversations. The Force flows through you like no student we have ever seen. But you're willful and headstrong. A dangerous combination. Before we send you to investigate the ruins, you must be trained in the ways of the Jedi, so that you can resist the darkness within yourself, within all of us. Otherwise you are doomed to fail. Mm, I don't have time for this. Yeah, that's pretty much proof that I need training. I don't want to lie, so... As you wish, Master Vandar. We must begin your training at once. You have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The entire fate of the galaxy is upon you. I can only hope you will prove up to the task. Yeah, no pressure. The path you have chosen to walk is difficult. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. Meditation will teach you to channel the power of the Force. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, you must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our Order. The Jedi is never alone. Others in the Order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Yet even though you are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited. And your progress, amazing. In all my years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. You have done in weeks what many cannot do in years. I am honored to welcome you fully 
into the Jedi Order. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first you must prove yourself worthy. So how can I prove myself worthy? In the traditions and customs of our order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. What kind of tests are these? These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the Code. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. Mm, okay. Jedi's understanding of the Code. Um, want to upgrade items. This bonus attack, bonus damage, bonus damage, bonus damage. This isn't a great weapon. Neither is this though, but it's the best we have. Might as well stick our upgrade items to some weapons though. Yeah, the ball caster is simply superior. This isn't a terrible weapon, but it's not really amazing either. <sighs> Same with this, it's not a great armor. It's better than nothing. This is a quite a solid upgrade. Training compute hall. Welcome, sentient. It is important for the peace and harmony of all things. That the many paths of the Jedi Order be understood. Only through knowledge can all see the truth of the Force. Jedi Guardians train for battle and physical prowess. In contrast, Jedi Counselors seek to master the awesome power of the Force. Jedi Sentinels seek to find balance between these two extremes. What? Show me the statistical comparisons between all the three classes. Uh, it's a uh, choice between hit points and force point gains per level. You get 14 points. No, we don't want to be a guardian. That's basically a soldier. We'll take a choice between counselor or a sentinel. I'm not sure which one. I'm not sure the, what things will say as class skills, that's the main problem point here. Maybe they don't change, they, and our initial class choice was what they, in, was influenced that, but Sentinel would be the equivalent of Scout, I think. It's a decent amount of force points, decent amount of vitality sure about the uh, skill points. still need to learn about the Jedi code from someone. If you have questions, you should direct them toward the Jedi Council members. I see you insist on wandering the halls of our enclave 
when you should be busy studying your lessons. Seek knowledge of the Jedi Code. You do not know the Jedi Code? Without knowledge of those doctrines, all your training will be for naught. All Jedi must know the Code. Its tenets are the fundamental teachings of our Order. There is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There is serenity. There is no chaos. There is harmony. There is no death. There is the Force. Learn these truths, Apprentice, or we shall all regret the decision to accept you into the Order. Greetings, my young pupil. Your progress has been most remarkable so far. Are you here to continue your training in the ways of the Jedi? Let's see if we can get through the... Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of... in the traditions and customs of our order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready to take the test. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training. First, I will... You must now prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the code by completing these fundamental precepts of our order. There is no emotion. This does not prove understanding of the code. This is a uh, memorization. I'm at this point in the Jedi. There is no emotion. There is what? There's peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There is serenity. There is no chaos. There is harmony. There is no death. Yeah. There is the force. You have learned your studies well, apprentice. It will not be long before you are a full member of our order. But first, you must pass the second test, and learn about the most prized possession of a Jedi. The very symbol of our order, the lightsaber. The lightsaber is the traditional weapon of our order. It is a symbol of a Jedi's skill, dedication, and authority. And each lightsaber is as individual as the Jedi who wields it. The blade is made of pure energy, focused by polished crystals in the hilt. As the second test, each Jedi must construct his lightsaber with his own hands. And now it is your time. Speak with Master Dorak and he will guide you through the choosing of a crystal. Master Dorak. Oh. Ah, you have come, young apprentice, at Master Zar's bidding. He sees great promise in you, as do I. The time has come for you to choose the color of your lightsaber. This color also reflects your demeanor and position within the Order. What positions are there? Blue is the color of the Jedi Guardian. This Jedi battles against the forces of evil and the dark side. They focus more on combat training and use of the lightsaber. Yellow is the color of the Jedi Sentinel. This Jedi ferrets out deceit and injustice, bringing it to light. They focus less on combat, and more on other skills and abilities. Green is the color of the Jedi Consular. This Jedi seeks to bring balance to the universe. They mediate between other groups, using their powers to end conflict and preserve peace. Yeah, it seems like the Sentinel is what we're after. Indeed. We shall see. I will now ask you questions, and your responses will indicate which class you lean most towards. A woman and her small child are beset by a desperate-looking group of thugs. They're menacing her with weapons, and she screams to you for help. What do you do? I choose the option that corresponds to Jedi Sentinel. Help them flee. Hmm. Indeed. Very well. On to the next question. You are in combat with a dark Jedi allied with the Sith. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? Try to see a weakness in his technique. Yes, I suspected as much. 
Now for the next question. There is a locked door, and your goal lies on the other side. What do you do? Picks a lock. I am beginning to see a pattern here, Apprentice. I have a feeling about what you would be best at. But first, the final question. You are the head of an enclave on a contested world. The Dark Jedi have infiltrated and are causing unrest across the planet. What do you do? Try to lure them out into a trap. Yes, I thought as much. As I suspected, you would be most suitable as a Jedi Sentinel. Which color and path do you believe yourself most suited to, Apprentice? Yellow. Color of Cardis. Here is a yellow crystal for your lightsaber. Go speak to Master Jar again and he will instruct you in how to construct it. Jedi Sentinel. Uh, yeah, it replaces our original class, so this is exactly what I needed to choose. Ooh, uh, we have new class skills. Computer use, demolitions, awareness, persuade, repair. Uh, so basically, persuade became a class skill. That's pretty much it. Weapon proficiency, lightsaber, Jedi defense, force immunity, fear, Jedi sense, force sensitive. We haven't e exactly invested in dueling a lot, and I don't think I will. So, so I might want to use ranged weapons at times, and that uh, means heavily to using heavy weapons to hand ranged weapons. So in investing in dueling would be a waste of feats. Hmm. Advanced Jedi defense, uh, defense against blaster bolts. Yeah, this would be great if we faced a lot of uh, shooting enemies. But immunity to fear. Oh. oh. Master Flurry. That's uh, only minus one to defense, and we get uh, minus one to all attacks. I mean to hit, but you'll get an extra melee attack per turn, so it's a pretty good exchange. Yeah, I think I'll let take that. After, now we have uh, some kind of a good attack feat that we can rely on instead of using the standard attack. So that alone should be worth it. On the other hand, we could take rapid fire. Rapid fire really is totally useless again at, at this zero feet low because you suffer minus four penalty to all attacks. That's that's catastrophic. With the second tier, it's only minus two to all attacks in the base. In, in the base, it's minus one. So we already have the improved flurry, which basically does the same thing to melee. So I think I'll take the improved rapid shot. So now we then we have a decent ability in both range and melee that we can rely on. Oh yeah. Possibilities. Character level six, so we're character level nine, I think. Again, I'm. I think I'll focus on neutral abilities at least for now. We can't. I I I'll take the cure. We need someone to. Someone to be able to heal. And since I'm not sure I'll be taking Power Bastila in the group, it's going to have to be me.
Ooh, this is a buffing spell. Force Valor. Plus 5 to all party members' physical stat attributes and saving throws. That's 20 seconds. That's not bad. I probably prefer something else at the start. Maybe force abilities. Force push. Force whirlwind, force wave. We do want some kind of a. We invested heavily in the mental attributes, so we need some kind of a offensive power. Could take the dark side powers too. Insanity. Mm. Uh, I think that we'll go with the neutral one at the start because I, I I don't know which side we're gonna start leaning on. So force push that should be good enough for a start. Although it's not exactly great. We're gonna be healing mostly at the start. Candorous, yeah, uh, take strength. Skills, treat injury. Yeah, sure, but someone needs to take awareness. Do I have to start taking awareness too? Watch it, take treat injury. Since you're going with the melee option, ooh, implant level 2. No, since he's the melee guy now, he it's more important to get him with a decent melee ability. He doesn't have sweep strike, so it has to be power attack. But power attack negatives don't get lighter as you get more feet, it just adds more to the bone, says. So that's not so important to get right away. I'll take the implant level 2 first. It has one great thing, and you'll... Immunity to mind. That's really a problem. Um, I want to... I'll take immunity to poison for now. I want him to have the immunity to critical hits. Because he's the melee guy going right where the fighting is happening. And I'll get rid of you. I think. I uh, will not really get rid of, but... I want to change the weaponry. Yeah, prototype vibroblade. A lot higher damage. You can take the missions. No. No. Switching things around a bit. Yes? Can I change the party here? Uh, I'd rather take Zalbar for the moment. I'm not a scout. Mm. It's not a bad thing, yeah, we can get uh, someone with an awareness into our party, and he's a good warrior too. 
uncanny dodge so what do I want to do with this and again another implant user it's definitely going to be melee focused um, maybe with two weapon fighting on this one this he has no defense he should focus on putting out massive amount of damage constantly Exercy, it's plus one to armor class, but the armor class is already so piss poor, so it won't make much of a difference. Strength, kill, kill, kill. That's the thing you do. And we can take something else. Ah, <sighs> repair. Demolitions Implantable 3. That's nice. Ooh, that's uh, much better. We're immune to mind affecting. We'll give the immunity to poison to him. And he'll get a Missions five blue, five blue blade. Could give him a five blue blade too. It will do that. He still has a lot of, uh, and we'll give him a blundering, blundering resist. I'm not sure if that'll help. But his chance to hit with the two weapons is still fairly high, even though he's take, uh, taking a huge negative in them. It's because his strength is so great. What? Let's continue with the training. Ah, good. Now that you have selected your crystal, we shall begin the construction of your lightsaber. We don't have any power crystals, so just assemble our crappy lightsaber. I'm not sure I'll be using this much. At least not the start. Mm -hmm. You have done extremely well in constructing your lightsaber, apprentice. Your crystal seems to have been set perfectly. It is rare indeed for that to happen the first time one constructs their lightsaber. These crystals are very rare, found only in certain caves strong in the Force. By adding crystals to your lightsaber, you can alter or enhance its properties. There have even been unconfirmed rumors of certain Force-sensitive caves here on Dantooine that may hold these crystals. Hmm. What will these crystals do for me? They can modify simple things such as the color of your blade, or complex ones such as crystals that reputedly increase the strength of the beam. But you must learn first to use your lightsaber and take care when drawing it. Your lightsaber identifies you as a member of the Jedi Order. With such recognition comes honor and respect, and the attentions of dangerous enemies. The Sith and Dark Jedi will seek to destroy you, Apprentice. And you must prove yourself worthy in battle against a foe who also wields a lightsaber. Are you ready to face the final challenge, Apprentice? I'm ready. For every Jedi, the threat of the Dark Side is always present. You must truly understand this before you are accepted into the Order. You must see the corruption of the Dark Side for yourself. Even here on Dantooine, there are places where the dark side holds sway, twisting and tainting nature itself. The ancient grove, once used for deep meditation by the Jedi, is now tainted. 
A wave of darkness perverts the region around it. The Cathhounds in the area have become savage and ruthless. They have become a threat to the settlers. A threat the Jedi have promised to stop. Mm. What's causing this corruption? The Cathhounds are but a symptom of the true problem. You must journey into the grove and confront the true source of the darkness. That is your task. You know more than you're telling me. I can say no more. Some things you must see for yourself. None of the other Jedi at the Academy are permitted to help you in this task. But remember this, my young apprentice. A Jedi acts with patience and care, and those on the Dark Path are not always lost forever. The dark side still taints the ancient grove. Your lessons cannot continue until the spreading corruption of the dark side has been stopped. This is your task, apprentice. May the Force be with you. Do this. I do want to look around a bit, collect quests, things like that. Okay, at least we can throw the healing. I guess force ability, although I'm I'm always trying to say healing spell. Because that's what it is. Okay. D's rock. Runda di Hotonga Kun Hunka B. Wanna kun D Shamur Jada Bala Mule Tonking Ba Nunotek Tokin Chatukunne Mule Rabes Tong Abog Sha Umninong Mm, he's making small talk. Okay. I'm looking for crystals to alter my lightsaber. They are crystal caves, but they're also dangerous places. That's all he's telling me. Anyone else here? Lure Arkas Lost. Yikukuno no ba mulera chikun. Just want to ask some questions. Ne boboje mata ne punage. Dulpi kikuana. Oh, sure, go ahead. Chi gratu loda bograshi on neon compa chin tomo mochuba. Loda nita kun. Ita patisa batua kachatu tong. Bograsha kun tijaka um. Chubakaha, chopa, chawachwish, yunku. Jodo jidbunga rantang. Ka chikun ita haldonga. Ikinkuno ba mulera chikun. Slimo photo. Little girl has been captured from a ranch. They're looking for her. That happened many years ago. Looking for any information about her. Do you actually believe she's still alive? Tong height wam jiji jum lumpa nita poe tikito. She was captured by Mandalorians and they don't terminate their captives. Kachi chu ita dun donga. Yuma lita kuto dun. Jila mulane nindu bobo. Wonga kumbis jang ba mulera. Is there a reward for this news? Kachi kun ita haldonga. Ikin kuno ba mulera chikun. Slimo podona rundi haldonga ku. We eat a non dieta. What are you, ma? Wama who not a tick? So, no, no reward. Nipatoga. One of Kuzbe Ching Palamule Tonke. Tolpa da Pongwale Gaduna Gugu Chuchut. Cabadum Cupilio Botenia. Bonanai Kuchu. Awaga Bosca Chocola. 
Mucha Jagpanka. Yeah, sorry, I have no idea what who you are talking about. Takum juice dach miki grabal mogo. Kachi ita hodunga. Our problems with the Mandalorians come on Dantooine. Or isn't this something the local authorities should handle? Manaman Atota! Haki Jukrata Bula Shui Chongatong! Yeah, apparently the Jedi are the local authorities. They're not really doing much. Oh, if you want to achieve something, do it yourself. Hmm. Oh, the problems with the Mandalorians are a common thing on Dantooine. Yes. He doesn't know the history behind it. Is there anything of interest on Dantooine that you can tell me about? No, he can't tell us about anything interesting. Oh, no, nothing of value. I'll keep an eye out for the girl. Takum juice tak miki grabal mogo. Kachi ita hodunga. Hodunga to you too. Security droid. Just taking a little bit of a stroll around to see if there's any. anything of interest. Apparently not. What a call droid. I talk to you. I cannot render assistance, citizen. Move along. Erratic mercantile shop. Carol Carr. The beast you bon conki pangpa. Ching palachiska muli. Seems everyone knows me here. Yeah, Master Zor has informed every goddamn citizen on the Singlades about my progress friendly. Well, I know I know not to tell anything I consider confidential to him. Let me see what you have in stock. Rundi Hadonga Kuhunga B. He might be selling droid cards. Yeah, he sells droid heavy plating. I'm um, not too interested in using the droid though. Might have to on some occasions, so it would be great to have uh, something. But I'm not play paying twelve hundred fifty for a droid armor I might never use. So, watch that. Anything else? Kratis, your call. Achuta, wonga kunbis dolbi kikuyana. And he's heard about me too. Yeah, he's, he's Tung Patukashmak Telea, Mucha Shakpa Hat. 
Qui est non dans ma parole Rachikun Ka chikun ita hodonga ikinkuno ba mule Rachikun Simo podona rundi hodonga ku Yeah, he has grand land for his shop here Unga kun bistulpi kikuyana Yeah, I didn't come to listen to your ramblings, you're absolutely right What do you have against this Zuraka Corporation? Kipuna! Kava tumpa ku pailea muka bata! Ji yoka ku tumpa ku pailea! Runda di hotonga kun honka bi! Wana kun bez ching pala mule tungking ba nunotek! Tuk nin chatu kun ne! They basically spread all of the galaxy and are using every means necessary to get rid of the competition. Slimo podona rundi hodunga ku hunkabe. Jedo badwana ni di bobo. Tong na bungsha nununya. Tong basically seems to be a large corporation with no conscience about anything they do. Ooh, and they're allied with the Sith. And things have gotten worse. Do you mean the Zerka Corp are allied with the Sith? Mucho shock pa khat. Ki no no dama paole rachikun. Na di hotonga kun hanka bi. Ona kun bez ching ba supplying the Sith. Tonking ba no no tak. Tok nin cha tu kun ne mule rabes. Jedo ba do ni di bobo. Tong na bungsha no no nya. Tong ba tu kashmak telea. Chikun ita hodonga, ikinkuno ba mule rachikun. Simo podona. Pillaging planet's resources, genitalized of indigenous species. Unga kun bistulpi kikuyana. Yeah, basically, um. Gigantic corporation with no ethical limitations in what they do. Yeah, let's see what you have for sale. Tong na bungsha nununya. Tung patukas magtalea, mucho siya ang pakat. Kiyin ano na mapaule rachikun? Oh, Sanasiki's blade. Blade that does iron damage. Upgradable. Plus two attack modifier. It's a good blade. It also costs seven thousand, so we can forget about it. Hmm, Gilgan called us assault rifle. Ah, uh, again, assault rifle with normal damage plus damage versus droids. A uh, plus three attack modifier. This is not exactly a plus three magical blaster rifle. It, there's no bonus to damage. It's very accurate, normal damage, but extra droid damage, upgradable. Uh, I I probably wouldn't want to buy this eight thousand. It's the iron damage versus droid. This seems like a anti droid weapon. And the one thing I do dislike about this system is that I don't know what the upgrades do until I actually buy the weapon. It, I think that's a major problem because it should be as it's a significant yeah. It makes a significant difference in whether you want an item or not. And this at least seems like an anti droid weaponry. So, are the upgrades. Are they going to upgrade damage against droids, for example? If they do, this will be a totally useless weapon against anything else. But they also might do upgrade the energy damage with me. With me, this is a great weapon that has a little bit extra oomph against droids. Same with the Sanasiki blade. It's a it's a anti droid weapon. But what the hell does the upgrades do? 
how great of a bonus is to ever provide. That's a, that's vital information in making your choice about the purchase. At this point, it seems like I'd have to have uh, 8,000 credits, and then I'd buy both, take a or Python item, take a look, take it into my ship to look what the upgrades do, and then load the game after that. If it's not something I want, and that's that's that that shouldn't be necessary. If the money involved is too great to just throw away. Plus eight to stealth. Yeah, that's not interesting. Resist sonic damage. I haven't encountered anything that uses sonic damage. Might be something worthwhile though. It provides computer demolition and security bonuses to breath mass. Ooh. For a hundred credits, we can get a medium armor piece that makes immunity to poison. Yeah, I'm buying that. Infiltrator gloves. Computer use security dexterity. CNS strength enhancer. Plus two to all saves, plus two strength. 8,500. This is a good item. I uh, would definitely buy this. Calrissian utility belt. Ah, computer use, 3, demolition is 3, repair 3, security 3, another good uh, item belt, but too expensive to do. Retinal combat implant, yeah, I'm buying this. Let me see if it's 705, 750, fairly expensive. Still, I think it's worth it. We have now have Mind affecting no, uh, I'll take the uh, retinal combat. Retinal combat for you, so now you're immune to critical hits. Both of our melee guys are immune to critical hits now. Mm. Willpower, uh, I'll make you immune to poison too. We have improved power blast, which is fine. Okay. Okay. That looks cool. Sure. What? What? Okay, I'm very happy about our combat capabilities now. Talk to Belaya. Belaya again. Apprentice. Though I understand you shall not have that lowly title much longer. Master Jar tells me that your progress has been remarkable. Soon he feels you will attain the rank of Padawan. Then you will truly be a full-fledged Jedi. How are you enjoying your training? I'm looking to alter my lightsaber and I heard about some caves. There are caves on Dantooine that hold those rare crystals. But be warned, Apprentice, they are dangerous. You should not meddle in things beyond you. I wish you luck in your training, Apprentice. There is much you must yet learn. May the Force be with you. Okay, we should be finished exploring this enclave very soon. I cannot render assistance, citizen. Move along. So now... You kukumo no ba mulirat. Ah, but it's a Pazar player. Get the hell out of me. I don't want to talk to you. I like my money. Why are you bothering me? I'm here to speak with the Council, not some servant. Please leave, or I shall be forced to tell the Council of your rude behavior. Achlan Matilev. Well, the Pazak would probably be a great way to earn money if you had the 
add at least negative cards or the ones that can be switched to negative or positive, however you want. So with a slight investment in credits you could probably make a lot of money out of that. Uh, I, I'm not really a fan of playing such mini games in games in general. Unless I really want to make money and I know it's a good way to make it. Even then, it, I prefer it not to. The council has decreed you may come and go as you please. Fantastic. This looks like a beautiful place. The, it just these belly high walls are sort of problematic. That's how these uh, instead of flying, I guess uh, is it a ray, like manta ray? I guess it's full of gas or something. Um, yeah, mm, the, this Bioware games in this way are very limited. Where you can go, very rare. It, it's a one way to make a game. I don't think that um, I don't want to bitch about that, but I do prefer sort of sandbox open world games. There's a huge difference being able to look at a backdrop and being able to walk into that backdrop. Even if you don't provide any additional quests or gameplay for that, it, it makes a huge difference in my immersion. I also don't like third third person games like this. Third person is fine if I can control the group as a, as in a game, but trying to if I'm going to tr basically control a single guy, uh, I'd always prefer first person. It's such so much better. This is very point or uh, point based uh, command system, so. Although there's free movement I can move, but all actions are require targets and there are all actions are done in turns. So it would the control system for this game should have been top down uh, as this as an option. That's that's how it's it's clearly it would have worked better in that sense. Oh, Nemo. I guess we should talk to everyone then. It is good sometimes to stop and reflect on the beauty of nature and the force. I am sorry. I tend to get carried away. I do not believe we have met, Apprentice. My name is Nemo. Is there something I can help you with? Can you... Tell me about Tantarine. Very well. What is it you wish to know? Master Zara says there are caves on Tantarine with lightsaber crystals. Ah, yes. Those caves. Those caves are dangerous for the unwary. Kinreth spiders infest the places. They are attracted by the colors and heat given off by the crystals, I think. It is a pity. Those caves are strong with the Force. Is there something else I can help you with? I have been given a task, but I was not supposed to get any help. Uh, we can ask. Indeed. What is it you would like from me? What do you know of the Tainted Grove? The Council has told you nothing of the Grove? I know it is tainted by the dark side. Do not be so quick to judge circumstances about which you are ignorant. Not everything may be as transparent as you would believe. 
The grove can be found to the south and east in the plains, but be wary of cathounds. They may be agitated by the power in the grove. Is there something else I can help you with? Mm, not really. I hope your time is well spent here on Dantooine. Yes, it. And as I was so talking about the con uh, control system, it's sort of a. It's more similar to what you would find in a, I guess, a real time strategy game. So, sure, you can move your units anywhere you want uh, on the area, but in order to really do anything, you have to have to give them targets. That's how the control system really here works. From target to target to target to target, it, you are not really in control of your character. You can't really do on your own. I can't fire my weapons for the fun of it. I oh, everything has to have a target before I can do any kind of action. Healing might be the and some self buffs are the only thing, but again if I the control system definitely is more of a top down game appropriate. Greetings friend. I think I can safely assume you are a member of the Jedi Order. Has the Council agreed to hear our petition? Hmm. I'm merely an apprentice, not a Jedi. Oh, I'm sorry. I was mistaken. Does the Council require our presence? I'm sorry, I do not know. Oh, I see. I am mistaken. How may I be of assistance? Who are you? My name is Gar. Me and my fine wife, Rilke, here... A pleasure. ...live on one of the northern farms. But the cat hounds and the Mandalorian problem has been getting really bad of late, and we're here to ask the Jedi Council to help. Okay, Mandalorians here. Ever since the Republic beat them years ago, little groups have been roaming all over the place. They're pathetic. They're taking scraps when they should be taking worlds. With the Sith invasion, the Republic doesn't have the manpower to hunt them down. The Jedi are even worse off because Malak has been hunting them specifically. They're worried that he might even be supporting these raiders. So, don't want to face them directly. That puts us in a kind of hard situation. Is there anything else I can help you with? What about the cat hounds? Recently, the cat hounds have been acting much more aggressively. They've even attacked some of the settlers. Those Mandalorian raiders have been milking the outlying farms dry, too. I hear John got hit really bad. Too bad about his daughter. He should have been protecting her better if he wanted to keep her. Mandalorian beast! Some of us don't like fighting and killing and butchering as much as you. I'm not sure exactly what the Council will do about it, but we need some help with this. I only hope they'll listen to me. Is there anything else you require? Yeah, he calmed down quite fast there. Okay, I'll be going. Farewell, then. May the Force be with you. Is that how it goes? <laughs> yeah. May the Force be with you. At least someone told us what's going on here. So. Are you a Jedi? How long can you people continue to sit by and claim you protect us? Protectors? Ha! You sit in your enclave safe from the Mandalorians while we suffer. <sighs> we are Jedi. What do we decide is always right. The wonderful dialogue options. Okay, what are you talking about? Those Mandalorian brutes have killed my daughter. You should have protected her better. And you call yourself her father. And what am I supposed to do against a dozen Mandalorians and Duros? Nothing. There was nothing I could do. They came to our land demanding our livelihood. But Ilsa, my Ilsa, said no. Only an idiot says no. And they have a gun in their face. I'd like to say that, but I'll probably say no too, so... They killed her? There was nothing I could do. Too many of the Mandalorians and their Duro's allies. I've come here to ask you, please, Master Jedi, stop these raiders and get revenge for my daughter. Mm. 
Your problems are not my concern. Never revenge is never a good reason. Yes, it is. Those animals, I'll kill them. I will protect you and your fellow settlers. And that's a reasonable one. Maybe you could make it worth my while. Yeah, I'm not going to blackmail every goddamn person I encounter. I'm not a Jedi yet. That's sort of uh, trying to evade the issue. Now I'll see what I can do. I will give you all I have. Just please annihilate them from the face of this planet. Settler Jedi. Me? Na boda ni wiki smatoma. Wana ko best chingpa ma rulira. Tok chingbang non kick. Tok ninja mira ra best. Hey, why are we harboring him? What happened to you? Kui ami just kuna chitanai. Ina kun ma ma rulira ra chikun. Slimo patona. Na si came and bomb this world. Tong non bong chang nun yang. Tong patok smatelia. Ya tuka uluan kinkun na ba mura ra chikun. Mucha shampanpa, la boda ni winky smack toma. Wanna cool best chingpa ma rulira, tok ching bang non kick. Tuk ninja mura ra best, uba batu kochi. Tong nong bong chang nung yang, tong katok smack delia. I guess it's another option for me to black and I'll try to get something out of this duras for no real reason. I don't want to do that. It just makes me feel like a petty thug. It's trying to everyone you trying to get a few pellets out of everyone you meet. It's just so petty. Greetings, young Jedi. I wonder if you could assist me. I seem to have lost my companion, you see? Who are you? Oh, I'm sorry, Master Jedi. I did not give you a proper introduction. I'm Elise Montagna. I own the farm to the north of here. But I really am in need of your assistance. Time may be critical with so many calf hounds about. Oh, and those Mandalorians. Please, will you help me find him? Your companion? We were working on my farm to the north of here. I was working in the garden outside, and he was working inside. I heard the door to the house open, but not close. I went to see, and found it wide open. I searched everywhere and could not find him. I worry so much. I need him back so badly. I wonder if he... Could he have been kidnapped? Does anyone hold a grudge against him? Not that I know of. Um, none of my neighbors really know he's there. Maybe it was the Mandalorians, or maybe Cathounds. But no, Cathounds are not intelligent enough to open doors, although they have been more vicious lately. No, it must have been someone who could open the door by himself. Come to think of it, the door was locked. Yeah. This have been opened from the inside. Well, yes, it could have. But he had no reason to run away. His programming. Your mission companion is a droid. Well, yes, he is a droid. But he is very valuable to me all the same. He's the last piece of my poor passed away husband that I have left. He is very dear to me, my precious is. I don't know what I'd do without him. He's the only companionship I have on all of Dantooine. So you live alone with this droid? He is a personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Please, I beg of you, return my droid to me. Yeah, I think she might be a little bit obsessed about the droid. Yeah, if I happen to see him, I'll send him back to you. Thank you. 
Thank you, Master Jedi. If you find him, please send him home to me. I need him so much. Hmm, lonely people. Adam Lar, a larper. Uchu a penki, ang duma ji human act ng ikatune. Chi ita kang ki chan na kilikon. Chi wak ay ita kang ki chi wi ay ita ka chong chicha. Agi unko tune chuna mo mi ka ang duma ji ko na. Tong ki pa nong kunek abog. Okay, what's your purpose here? A noble purpose. Baba Hassan Shan. No ba muli rati like kuka. Chiwa e aita kan ki cha na tupornibo. Kun muli ras nimo poi wanga. Tongi tuama ji. Human act in ikatune. Chiwi aita ka chong chi cha. Agi inko tune. Chuna muli ra. Tongi tuama ji kuna. Tong ki pa nong kunek abog. Okay. He's troubled about the troubles people are facing, so he has a mission. To offer the highest quality of weapons at the lowest of low prices. Okay. This will probably be in interesting to us. Let me see why. Oh, do you happen to have any maps of area? Uh, it doesn't have all the area maps, but it has something. <laughs> You're reasonably priced. I definitely want to buy. Don't have to go exploring every every new country. Every other the south. Ah, uh, two credits. Yeah, I'll take it. More map. Map of this area. Two credits, I'll take it. Let's see what you're selling. Best you can find anywhere on this world. Ooh, Sinagar War Suit. 3000. Uh, a Sonic Resistance Suit. Cassis Feds Battle Armor. Ooh, Defense Rating 10. No dexterity value. Natural resistance to cold, fire, sonic, upgradable armor. Again, it's a 15,000 credit item. So it's sort of important to know what the hell am I upgrading. Am I upgrading the energy or cold, fire, sonic resistances? Or maybe defense bonuses? What? Can I, can I get mind effect immunity, critical Hit immunity, what do I get? Bronzium light battle armor. Light repeating plasma. This is uh this is one of the worst heavy weapons I've ever seen. It's basically a blaster rifle that's a heavy weapon. Even a blaster rifle has a higher critical threat range. Adhesive grenade, entangle effect. Mm, that's not really helpful because we are relying mostly on melee. Mm, if we get swarm, that might be helpful, but that hasn't have happened even a single time yet. So I'm not going to buy items just in case something that hasn't happened might happen sometimes. Anything else? No. So a uh, usually expensive armor is what he's offering us. Uh, not now. There, we have the area map. Path south, path south, 
strange ruins. We need to go south. Mm, but I think I'll end it here. It took a lot of time to go through the enclave. Now we have a lot of little bit of quests, things to do, and we're ready to start exploring Dantooine in much more detail. There's a cat hunt there, so likely we're walking into a trap too. Uh, we'll trigger the trap the next time.